How to get more gold lotus crown. Explained. Plus important tips. A complete guide on gold lotus crown farming. Good day. In this video, I will show you all the possible ways to get gold lotus crown and explain everything you need to know about it. I will also give you important tips along the way that you might not know yet so make sure to watch the whole video. DO IT! JUST DO IT! Before we begin, to stay up to date with my latest videos of dragon nest guides and tips, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button in the lower right of this video. Gold Lotus Crown is the main enhancement material you need to enhance your Mirage Dragon Jade. I will make a guide soon about it so stay tuned. You also need Gold Lotus Crown in order to upgrade some of your minus equipment into Inside or Devotion as well as Epic Talisman Crafting and Stab Boosting. Because of its importance, there are many ways to get Gold Lotus Crown and I will list them down one by one. The first source of Gold Lotus Crown is your main quest in Red Lotus Palace Main Street. Specifically, Chapter 16 and Chapter 17. You can get hundreds of Gold Lotus Crowns after finishing your main quest, so make sure that you don't skip it especially if it's your main character. The second source of Gold Lotus Crown is your World Daily Task. Press B then task list to open it. You can get up to 9 bold lotus crown every day just by completing your daily task. This is a count basis, so make sure to collect it in your character that needs it. Finishing the merchant jam and have a daily task will give you 3 gold lotus crown. If you don't know how to unlock it, I made a complete guide. I will also put a link in the description. Doing the Catastrophe Red Lotus Daily Task will also give you 3 Gold Lotus Crown. In addition, you can also get 10 Magnifying Glass. I will show you how to run it later if you don't know. Finishing 7 World Daily Task will give you 3 Gold Lotus Water. You can exchange it in Gold Lotus Crown Shop for Gold Lotus Crown. 1 is to 1 ratio. You can also transfer your Gold Lotus Water in your other characters using normal server storage. The third source of Gold Lotus Crown is your Weekly Party Reward. Aside from the Gold Lotus Crown, you can also get Community Points Weekly equal to the points you earned. Fill the party reward gauge by running nest or dungeon in a party. Doing a party of 4 will give you bonus points. Raids with 6 to 8 members will give the highest points. Once you got 10,000 points, you can claim your 10 Gold Lotus Crown reward in Mail. Mails have a duration of 30 days only so make sure to claim it before it expired. The fourth source of Gold Lotus Crown is the Crystal Point Shop. You can buy one Gold Lotus Crown for only 5,000 Crystal Points. But honestly, you can use your Crystal Points for better items like Costumes, Abundance Talisman, etc.
The fifth source of gold lotus crown is the Mission Bullet in Board Store. In general stock, you can buy a one gold lotus crown for 10,000 blood, sweat, and tears or mainly known as BST points. You can get BST points by doing your mission board quest. The sixth source of gold lotus crown is the ladder shop. You can buy 7 gold lotus crown up to 30 times every week on an account basis. The normal cost is 100 ladder points but you can reduce it to 95 ladder points if you unlock the combined skill for it. You can get 100 ladder points in daily task by playing ladder once every day. You need 500 combined levels to unlock this so it requires at least 6 max characters in your account. The seventh source of gold lotus crown is the Catastrophe Red Lotus Palace. This uses a queue system so you need to wait until four players search for the match. Catastrophe game mode uses the four dungeons of Red Lotus Palace Main Street. At the end of the run, you can get a total of 4 gold lotus crown and some gold. Don't leave too quickly because a rising cliff portal might appear. You have a chance to get a gold goblin coin at that stage. A few moments later...
The eighth source of gold lotus crown is the Fish and Maze Weekly Reward. Starting at Labyrinth Level 5, you can get 5 Gold Lotus Water. The higher the Labyrinth level, the higher the amount of Gold Lotus Water you can get. A maximum of 60 Gold Lotus Water at Labyrinth 14 and above. Since I cleared Labyrinth 14 last week, I can receive the reward for it. You can get your rewards in mail. Yeah, boy. The ninth source of Gold Lotus Crown is the Daily Quests of Red Lotus Palace Main Street. Take note that you need to finish at least Chapter 16 Main Quest in order to unlock these Daily Quests. Great weather to work, eh? I made a guide about this Scrap Iron Quest already. It's Check out my channel or playlist. This includes the collector's request side quest of Merchant Jamila. This is the other daily task that I mentioned earlier. You can get two gold lotus crown hair daily. You just need to do one run of any red lotus palace dungeon. My daily dungeon task is Blue Raven Territories so I can clear that one to kill two birds with one stone. I am the one the way you turn down it. Great weather to work, eh? This fire shall burn as long as I breathe. Five minutes later. Just press and hold the space bar here. You need to talk to it again later. Do the daily quest on other NPC for now. Picky's clearly not in his right mind option. Approach the guard then talk to the fortune teller under the tree.
pick spicy rice cake or your lucky color option. Once this shows up, talk to Gambler Harp again to complete his daily quest. You can do any labyrinth level but I highly recommend doing at least labyrinth level 6 for a chance of Tomb Invader. Having a mission board quest is also better. Now go back to Merchant Jaminhua to complete the Collector Request Daily Quest. <laughs> After finishing the daily task, you can collect your reward in your special storage. These pouches are your rewards for the Red Lotus Daily Quest. They contain Silver Lotus Water, Gold Lotus Water, Sunset Key, etc. You can use the Auto Pandora box to open them automatically. You can even 8fk if you have a lot of pouches. Right click on the auto Pandora box then right click on your pouch then click open. Hey, that's pretty good.
You can exchange here both your gold lotus water and silver lotus water to gold lotus crown. One gold lotus water is equivalent to one gold lotus crown and ten silver lotus water is equivalent to one gold lotus crown. The last source of gold lotus crown is the events. Right now there is a Halloween event that will give you 15 gold lotus crown for 2 conjuring coins. There's also an ongoing web bingo event right now that will give you a total of 50 gold lotus crown. There you have it. Please like and share this video with your friends and guildmates to help them learn more about Gold Lotus Crown Farming. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any content suggestions that you want to see in the future. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll answer them as soon as I can. That's all folks, I hope this video helped you. If you want to see more of my dragon nest guides in the future, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Annyeong.